everybody welcome back to my channel hope you are all doing well this morning this morning seems to be pretty good i had to rest a lot extra so i did got up with my husband had my chemotherapy waited an hour having breakfast and went back to sleep um slept for another couple of hours which was nice went to sleep regular time last night i guess like 9 30 i think i was asleep on i slept pretty much all night but apparently that's what my body wants to do so i just gonna let it uh i've been sleeping a lot lately the sheer physical exhaustion is just something i don't even know that i was prepared for like i knew it was going to be the body was gonna want to fight so it needed to rest but the amount of exhaustion, even when I was awake, was like, I think that's the part I didn't expect, which I should have. But. I took a shower yesterday, a real independent, full, whole shower. Oh, it felt so good. It felt so good. Um, we finally have it worked out, how this, the rhythm has to go and the system has to go of getting into the bathroom, getting into the shower. Unfortunately, it's a little bit too much work to just go poopies on the potty. But for right now, it was worth it to have a shower. Jim uh, made the bed, changed all the sheets so I could get into a nice clean bed, my nice clean self. Uh, it is just really... It was just really a wonderful, wonderful thing to have happen, except I hate to be like this, but you thought I was tired before. I got into bed and I was like, can you just dry my legs? And he put lotion on them because I can't bend over. And he did. I was like, oh, I'm cold. Cover me up. And he called, called me up. And I was like, good night. Out like a light. Um... I was reserving all of my energy for that yesterday. Did I vlog? Did I post? Give me a second, I'll be right back. The answer was no. <laughs> Sorry, that was late. I just sitting here and I'm like, yesterday was a kind of, I said I was tired, I was kind of a rough day and I'm like, I know I vlogged a very short vlog about my mouth before I took a shower. But, um, did I post it? Because last night I passed out. Anyway. Um, so yesterday I talked about my mouth, my tongue. Those are new developments. My tongue's a little bit better today. My mouth is comes and goes. Um, yesterday I tried to eat a real apple. Because the applesauce usually has got a preservative of lemon or a, you know, citric acid in it to preserve the color and stuff. And I've, lately it's been really burning. So I was like, what if I just have an apple? And I went and I had slices of apple, but for some reason, the apples that I got were very firm. And I swear I bought the Gala apples because, oh, that's why it's on the wrong watch. Ah, ooh, it's a little tight. Oh, and I popped it right off. Um, I bought the Gala apples because they usually have a, a mealier flesh. I mean, my favorite are Macintosh, but they just don't have them here. I don't seem to have them anywhere anymore, but I know everybody wants a firm apple, I guess. Not me. Anyhow, um, today's vlog wasn't going to be too long. Just to talk about how great it felt to get a shower yesterday. And I did uh, try to work on editing next week's uh, room makeover video. I've been eating dinner you know, and breakfast very well. I usually just have a shake and a coffee shake for lunch because my mouth usually needs a break like that. You know, if I ate like every four hours, then it would be like too much on my mouth, I think. Sorry, I tried to calm down the, I didn't do anything to my hair but wash it, look, but yeah, it's not working. Um, but I do have plenty of like soft foods to eat if I feel inclined to. 
got my peanut butter. Thank you for all the peanut butter, everybody. You guys are sweet. I do want to address something. Um, and it isn't about the haters and any specific thing that the haters have said. Or we'll call them that. Or people who are confused. Um, what I have a problem with is when someone says they're saying something against me that they doubt me or don't believe me to my husband because they're watching out for him. But what are you really doing for him? Okay, so he comes to the doctor's office and he knows what I'm going through and he's been there every step of the way. And he knows this isn't an act. He knows, he's seen the medical reports, he's seen the x-rays, he's seen the scars, he's seen the wounds. He sees the mouth every day. He wants to give me a kiss and he can't. He's going through it. He sees my raw bottom. He sees my raw everything. He hears the pain that I'm in. And for somebody who's never really expressed pain vocally, it's hard for him. So when you question me, you're really questioning him and his sanity. You're questioning him and his beliefs. And you're not really helping him. You want to help him? Send him support. Send him encouragement. Don't send him doubt. Send him love. Send him understanding. Don't send him questioning. Because that doesn't help him. If you don't like me, that's one thing. But please stop taking it out on my husband. Some people are concerned about the nutrition that I'm eating, the food that I'm eating, and why. I bought the sugar-free peanut M&Ms and sugar-free M&Ms. Even though they're not M&Ms, they're from Russell Stover's. Um, I... Uh, the question was about the peanut M&M's. If I can't have crunchy peanut butter, how can I have a peanut M&M? Well, there's a couple of reasons there. It may be different, and I don't know until I try it. Peanut M&M's have chopped up... Not peanut M&M's. Peanut butter has chopped up pointy-ended pieces of peanut. A peanut M&M has a whole peanut in it. I don't know if I'm going to be able to eat it. I won't know until I test it. Even the M&M's part, I don't know if I'll be able to eat it. At this point, we're trying to maintain a certain amount of calories in my body. So, my body is still getting fuel to fight. Yes, I have a lot of reserves, but they're dwindling fast. Um, I want to see my arms. <laughs> Look at all of this. Oh, so crazy. It's so crazy. Um, it's dwindling fast, but, you know, well, my body needs the nutrition, not just the energy. So, I am ensuring that I get enough protein so I don't lose muscle mass. I'm ensuring that I get enough calories. Minimum 600. Should be more like 12. Probably should be even more than that, but like I said, I do have reserves of calories. I need enough fiber. I need enough fruits and vegetables. There's a lot of different things that I have to try to incorporate into my diet. And certain things just have to be done the way they are. So, sugar free candy, I've mentioned before, excessive consumption may have a laxative effect. I'm hoping that it will. I'm having a little issue in that area. Like the opposite of it was four weeks ago. This week it's something different. I'm trying everything that I can every day. The false narrative of you're doing all of the things that you're doing because you care. Nobody believes that. Sorry. All the things you're saying to my husband is because you love him. It's, nobody believes that. Because you're not saying things to encourage him. You're not saying things that are loving to him. You're just saying things that are discouraging to me. 
So that's why we don't believe it. I tried to ask him to deal with it differently than he is because it's not resolving itself. Um, we've got to get to a point where you just have to deal with it, you know. Um, so, yeah. It's funny because my family, my family has been around Jim for 14 of the 20, 13 of the 20 years, well, 14 of the 20 years, 22 years we were together. It'll be 23 years in August that we're together, 22 years of marriage. My family's been there. My family lived in the same town. My family came over on the weekend. My family saw them, saw us midweek, mid-story, everything that was going on. They saw it. Unfortunately, his family only saw it secondhand. Whatever he told them. Whatever he shared. That's the information that they have to base all of their knowledge on. Now, I'm not saying his feelings aren't valid, but it's one thing to express your feelings. You're taking something some way, but there's obviously people who see what's actually going on. And if my family didn't feel the need to step in and intervene when they thought that he was being an asshat, the times he was being an asshat, why should his family intervene when they don't know me from a hole in the wall personally and feel like they're helping? Like, I just don't understand that. But everybody's different. Everybody's got their own thing. You guys are going to hate this video. I'm sorry, but it is what it is. My hair looks so funny. My sister's like, you look like Ed Grimley. Won't you know? <sighs> Starting to not feel good again. It comes and goes. That's why I want to pick up the camera in those moments when I am feeling good. You know, I want to look, oh, good, I... I feel good right now. Let me just talk and right now and see what's going on right now. So, love you guys. So, I wanted to just jump back on here. This is tonight. This is uh, 5.40 p.m. My mouth hurts quite a bit. You turn the light on. Um, my mouth's hurting quite a bit. Not my lips. But the inside. Uh, quite a bit, actually. I am finishing a carb smart shake. Um, a vanilla shake with a chocolate float, just like my mom used to get from Carvel. <laughs> Except hers had carbs. Um, thinking a lot about my dad and my mom today, and my brothers and sisters. Um, having a little bit of an emotional, you know, I ordered dinner for my family, um, but there was nothing I could eat there, so I'm going to have some soup, um, some egg drop soup from the Chinese food from the other night, and that's good protein. It goes down real smooth. It's not too salty from this restaurant, which is good, um, and hopefully I'll be able to eat what I can uh, when I can. Um, what I do, too, is um, Jim puts in, really, he puts in two scoops, but he doesn't make full scoops like you do at the restaurant. So I think it's like a half a cup of vanilla ice cream with a scoop of vanilla protein powder, fills the rest up with milk, shakes it, takes the shaker top out, and scoops in a scoop of chocolate ice cream. So that's what we have here today. So we get a little protein in there in case I can't get the soup down. At least I'll have some protein to go with my dairy. Usually a shake like this will really help coat my mouth and make it feel very, very good. But right now it's it's going down, but it's not helping. Today I'm a little... Distraught's not the word. I'm a little... um out of sorts mentally uh, just 
I don't feel good and it's putting a lot of thoughts in my head that I really uh, I don't entertain <laughs> but I think it's important to let everybody know that it can happen you know like these thoughts can pop into your head from time to time um, but the trick is to not let them stay to not keep them there I just realized I have to shut this because you probably can't hear me that well um, sorry. I think the key is to don't entertain the thoughts. You know, like, today's thought is not try to be like, woe is me. Because I really never feel like woe is me. Because my life was is so much better now than it was at times, you know. But it is a lot like, why? So, you know, you get punched and get back up. And you get punched, and you take care of that person, and then you get walked down the street and you get punched by another guy. And then you get back up and you take care of that guy, and then you get punched by the third guy. And it's just like, when does the hits stop, you know? Thanks, Jim. Oh, goodness, you give me a lot. Oh, what? No, it's okay. I said, is it a lot? No, it's not. It's good. Thank you. That was a question. I'm sorry. sorry. She, she just picked it up and said, honey, okay? Okay. So... That's what it feels like. Um, that was Jim getting in my egg job soup. That's what it kind of feels like. It kind of feels like the next punch, the next punch. But all this time, but all this time, at least I kept saying to myself, you know, at least you can eat. You may be nauseated, you may be satiated, but you do eat. You have medicine to make you have an appetite so that you can eat, so that your body can fight, so you can fight this thing. And now I feel like I'm so limited to what I can eat. But I still have stuff to eat. That's what I had to remind myself today. I would love to eat this. I would like to eat that. I would like to eat this. I would like to not be in pain in my mouth. But this is what I'm battling right now. This is the next step, the next step, the next fight. Let's knock this weach out and get to the next one and get to the next one and I feel like they're all ganging up on me sometimes you know just all happens at the same time and you're like boo boo you're exhausted and you're in pain and your leg hurts and your hip hurts and your back hurts all the places where the cancer is and your mouth hurts and your lips hurt and you're exhausted and you're nauseated and you just feel like poopy dupes and your downstairs is burning and your upstairs is burning you like you have sweat zones and just just like a teeny tiny break from all this I had a pretty good 10 minutes this afternoon I went to the potty and I got cleaned up and I changed into one of my new nightgowns that has sleeves which is really nice um, and I cleaned the floor up and I took out the garbage. I did all this. I can do this with my brace and the grabber grab. Oh, I put the grabber back. So grabber grabber. And uh, then I laid down and started. Well, I didn't lay down right away. I was trying to sit up and do things around here. And then all of a sudden it started to really hurt um, my leg. So I got my leg up. I got my brace off. I got my leg up. And then... But from there, it just started with my back and my shoulder and my mouth really bad. And just, but I did it. I tried. I tried. I did things today. I did things today that I'm proud of myself for. And I'm proud, you know. <laughs> um, <clears throat> but I wanted to just say, you know, jump on today and say, back on. I should say back on today and say, um, thank you. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, everybody, for all your care and love and support and all the things that you do for me. I really appreciate it. I do have some friend mail that Jimmy picked up, so thank you if you sent that to me. I will try to open it tomorrow and share it with you for the next day. But listen, if nobody's told you, like I mentioned before, that you're loved, go ahead and know you are loved by me. Even with this rotten mouth and the, dra the drainy sinuses. Oh, goodness. 
cancer-ridden body, but you are loved. And as always, you guys take care. God bless. And I'll see you next time. Bye.